Okay, uh, this is going to be our new project, one of our new projects. I know we've got two or three major projects at the tech school going on right now. This may be the biggest project we've ever taken on. Matter of fact, this project, a lot of people I think are already thinking that I'm not going to get this one done. But I've been told that on past projects before and proved people wrong. So anyway, here's what we got. Some of y'all who know me know I've gotten into camping here in the last few years and we got a pop-up camper now. This is a 1976 GMC motorhome and I know it's a 76 because I looked in the engine compartment and the 455 Oldsmobile on the engine and it says 76. It's, uh, these, these things are front wheel drive. Uh, well, let me get on the other side and I can see, you really can't see the front because it's buried in the brushes pretty good. But uh, these things have an Oldsmobile Tornado engine and transmission or transaxle in it from that era. So uh, I don't know a whole lot about these things. I'm doing this video mainly because I want to repost it on the GMC Motorhome Facebook page. And I'm going to let the experts on there kind of point me in the right direction. Right now, I'm, I'll show you the inside. The inside is nasty. I'm going to tell you, this thing's rough. It's rough as a cob. It's been sitting here a long time. Uh, as you can see, it's got the moss and everything growing on the side of it. So it's it's been here a while. My dilemma right now is there's supposed to be an airbag in there. This thing has air ride suspension. There ain't one. Somebody tried to make this 4 before work. It wouldn't stay in place. You see how low it's sitting to the ground? Because it has no airbag holding it up right now. So the the frame is about well here's a good shot of the decent shot of the frame. The frame, as you can see how far it is from the ground here. And finding a jack to get up on this soft ground which we've had all this rain here these last few days months weeks whatever um it's going to be quite the challenge we, so we got to get it jacked up now the silver lining is they gave us two new airbag setups to go on here um i'm hoping that they'll fit I, I don't know they look like they will from just what little looking at it i can see but uh when I post this over on the GMC Motorhome Facebook page, maybe some of the experts can look at this and tell me if this is going to fit or not. Um, but anyway, let me scoot them out of the way. So I almost got myself locked in this thing a while ago <laughs> because as you can see, you have to kind of work the lever. So I'll try not to let the thing close behind me. Now here's where it gets kind of creepy. And yes, there was some rats I heard scurrying around in here a while ago. So... This is not for the faint of heart. As you can see, when we get this thing to the tech school, the whole thing's gonna have to be gutted. Uh, where the problem is, is, or one of the problems is, this vent is pretty much open. Somebody tried to duct tape it up and the duct tape has kinda about halfway gone now. So anyway, it looks fairly original. I don't, I'm, like I said, I'm not an expert on one of these things. It even has the original, they put vacuum cleaners in these things. This thing, in my understanding, is built totally, was built totally by GM. It ain't like most motorhomes where, you know, like Ford, GM, or Chrysler would build the chassis, engine, and drivetrain, and then somebody like Coleman or Winnebago or uh, Fleetwood or somebody like that would build the body. Uh, this is all... GM and as you can see it's even got an AM FM the original AM FM 8 track player in it good old 1976 technology there here's the engine I'm gonna try to figure out how I'm gonna open this while holding my phone nice Hawson 455 Oldsmobile with a quarter jet quarter bleh, a quarter jet carburetor that's hard to say uh big alternator uh got one of them big old compressors on it like they used back in the 70s like uh 
about as big as the engine of my Volkswagen. Um, actually, everything in the engine compartment probably looks better than anything on this thing. I felt that the plug wires don't feel too bad, and all the hoses, although I want to replace all that anyway. But, you know, it don't look too bad like things have been... Anything bad happening, of course. Hard to say without cranking it up. <sighs> but anyway, uh, we are going to totally get this thing out. Uh, I think the plan is maybe to put some kind of stuff it looks like. Maybe shiplap is what I'm kind of, me and my wife are kind of hoping for. Uh, so, anyway... We're going to try to do that. Uh, these appliances, I have no idea if they're any kind of... It's got an old end generator. Now, the generator's got more hours on it than I thought. The generator's actually got um, 1,018 hours on it. Hmm. It's got about 40,000 miles on it. Uh, like I said, refrigerator, freezer, stove... Obviously, that is not the original microwave. That microwave looks like it's from the 90s or something. Uh, that toaster looks like it may have come with this thing. That looks like a toaster from the 70s. Anyway, uh, now another mod we would want to do is this setup here would have to go. I think me and my wife would just want to put a regular bed back here, maybe build a... Don't know how much size-wise we're dealing with here. We'll figure that out later. The bathroom's in here, but I haven't opened it up. Here's the thing. Bo Newsom's agreed to sell me this. This was a vehicle that was abandoned here a few years ago. Somebody brought it in for a hole in the gas tank, and that was it. The uh, guy abandoned it here, whoever the owner was. And uh, Bo just wants to get rid of it. He's basically selling it to me for about what this thing would bring scrap. Uh, and, uh, as you can see now, here's a really humdinger. This, they tried to wedge a four by four where the airbag goes on this side and, uh, then it popped out. Now it's gotten wedged in the wheel. So that's something else. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get a jack up under this thing, jack it up, uh, get it safely on some type of stands. Maybe I can borrow from the tech school and, uh, uh, Maybe get those airbags in it, get it cranked up, and um, either see if we can hobble it over the tech school, or way Botox, so pretty much no wrecker won't even fool with it. So I'm probably gonna have to get these airbags in it, get that big 455 cranked up here where this thing sits, and move it over to the tech school that way. That's the challenge. I may even have to employ, or not employ, but yeah, I guess employ some of my own students over here when I need to, an, extra, an extra hand or two uh, moving this thing. Don't know. We'll see. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Anything else I was wanting to point out on this thing? It's got one air conditioner on it. I know I've seen some pictures of some of these type of motor phones that have two uh the propane tank it's got its own propane tank it's in here uh of course i'm gonna have to get me something to cut these briars out because i'm gonna be, have to be able to get up under this thing easier but we've got to get it out of this hole we can't even hardly see the front end as you can see it is buried in these pine trees and honeysuckles it's been here a while. I looked up under it though. So far, I haven't been able to see any major rust in it, surprisingly. Uh, it did run, I was told, when it came in here. So, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, she's a... Uh, there you go, right there it is. I looked inside, actually the glass is okay. Surprisingly, I, when I first saw it, I said, oh man, some of that expensive glass is probably broke. But looking at it from the inside, it's not. But as you can see, there's no way I can pull it from the front because it's blocked in the front. We've got to get it up off the ground, get this, uh, get this, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, these airbags in here. 
it's going to be quite the job. And this may take me a few weeks just to get it to where we can get it out of here and get it over to the tech school. Uh, anyway, I know it looks like everybody's quit watching. I bored everybody to death, but I really wasn't recording this for most of my Facebook friends that I have. Except for maybe some of my car guy friends might be interested that it's got this nice 455 Oldsley engine in it. Uh, I was mainly recording this for the, uh, uh, to, to repost this over to the, 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 uh, GMC Motorhome Facebook page. And you can see that the, the headliner is, most of it's gone, I mean, uh, probably if I work much in this thing, I'm going to have to be careful for mold and rat feces issues because I did hear, hear some rats scary around in here. I may have to put out some rat poison in this thing before I work on it much. I'm afraid to even open any of these doors right now because, wow, that'd be scary when I'm just jumped out at me, wouldn't it? I've, I've had that happen working on old cars. I've had that happen before working in junkyards, you know. Uh, dare I open the glove box? Let's see. Let's hope it's not any critters in there. No. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, what do we got here? Oh, the I'm gonna go back and take a picture of this VIN number so I can maybe get some more information on it. Anyway, like I said, I know I've bored everybody to death. But sorry, it's really not for y'all. Or and like I said, unless you're really interested in these kind of vehicles, it's more for my new friends I have just acquired on the the GMC Facebook page, Motorhome Facebook page. So I'm gonna sign off for right now. Anybody got any good ideas on how we can jack this thing up on this soft ground? I've got some bottle jacks. I've got some big shop jacks at the tech school, but the problem is, is Trent, I've got a big eight-ton four jack, but how the heck, that thing's so ginormous, how the heck would I get it over here and slide it up under this thing? And even if I could do all that, it's just going to mar up in this soft ground. So, can I crank it up if I can get it to run? Can I move it enough to where maybe I could put some blocks up under the wheels and then drive it up on that and then jack it up would that be with like a bottle jack or something would that be possible to do i'm just at a loss here i've got to figure out how i'm going to move this thing but uh, we'll figure out something and like i said i'm fixing to repost this over to the gmc motorhome facebook page and i'm sure those guys there will have some ideas on how to get this thing jacked up to where we can do something with it. If we can just get it to tech school, then all my equipment's over there. That's the problem. Anyway, I'll sign off and quit jabbering here. And thanks for everybody watching.